the year the world thought it had seen everything in electric cars, until the Model 2 appeared with something few expected, an interior that looks like it came from a futuristic laboratory, but with both feet firmly planted in sustainability. It's not just another green car with a pretty finish. Tesla decided to rethink the concept of luxury, starting from what nobody sees, the material. Out goes the common synthetic leather. In comes an innovative biocomposite, 30% lighter, more resistant, and made to last. And the most curious thing is that it doesn't even need to be painted. The color is already in the material. It's as if the dashboard and seats were printed directly with the sole of the project. That detail alone eliminates tons of chemical waste that are normally dumped into the environment with paints and varnishes. But Elon Musk wanted to go beyond aesthetics or technical specifications. He wanted a cabin with purpose, and he succeeded. Each Model 2 interior avoids using about 22 kilograms of raw materials, which may seem like a small amount in isolation. But when you multiply that by hundreds of thousands of units, the impact becomes a reality check for the automotive industry. Literally tons of materials that are no longer extracted, processed, and wasted. And it doesn't stop there. The entire interior lining is made from a single recyclable matrix, molded into a continuous piece. There are no multiple layers glued together with toxic adhesive or painted parts that peel off over time. It's all integrated, as if the car had been sculpted by a giant 3D printer. And you know what this generates besides lightness and sustainability? Less assembly time, fewer errors on the production line, lower costs. A brutal simplification of the production chain, making any competitor seem outdated. What's most impressive is that this material has incredible durability. It withstands temperature variations humidity, impact, and even stains. In other words, it's functional even after years of use and still looks brand new. Oh, and when the car reaches the end of its lifespan, instead of disassembling dozens of parts to try and separate plastic, fabric, and glue, you just shred the structure and reuse it. Simple as that, Tesla is telling the market. It's possible to do it right from the start. It's possible to think about the end before you begin. Another detail that almost goes unnoticed, but changes everything, is the end of local material regulations. Since the biocomposite doesn't need paint or regulated chemicals, the same panel can be used in the US, Europe, and Asia. This cuts certification, logistics, and inventory costs. Everything can be standardized without fear of being blocked by local environmental laws. Tesla kills three birds with one stone. It saves money, reduces impact, and accelerates production. And what about ergonomics? Nothing has been overlooked. Even with a single material, each panel and each seat has texture and softness in just the right places, offering a premium feel, but without exaggeration. That old stereotype that a cheap car needs to look cheap is a thing of the past. The Model 2 proves that simplicity can be synonymous with sophistication. And the best part? Without killing animals, without destroying forests, and without filling the world with toxic waste. If the Model 2's interior starts with materials that seem to come from a new era, the dashboard is no less impressive. It's as if Tesla looked to the past, discarded everything that was excessive, and rebuilt the cabin focusing on what really matters the connection between the driver and the car. No scattered buttons, analog gauges, or unnecessary clusters. Instead, a single 10.5-inch OLED screen dominates the center of the dashboard, smaller than the one in the Model 3, but absurdly more efficient. It delivers 2,000 nits of brightness directly into your field of vision. In other words, visible even under desert sun and without tiring your eyes at night. But the real advantage here isn't just visual. This screen reduces energy consumption by 18%, which may not seem like much until you realize it means more range. In a small, efficient car like the Model 2, every watt saved is worth its weight in gold, or rather, extra miles. 
and that changes the whole logic of electric driving. Tesla is making it clear that technology isn't just for show. It needs to be functional. It needs to deliver something real, something the driver feels. And in this case, they feel it in terms of range. Another brilliant move was to completely eliminate the instrument panel behind the steering wheel. There's no digital display, no analog display, and no physical buttons. Instead, a HUD system projects information such as speed, direction, cruise control status, and navigation instructions directly onto the windshield. It's like driving with data floating in front of you, but without feeling like a fighter jet from an action movie. Everything is clean, organized, and adjusted in real time, based on light conditions and the car's speed. And that's where one of the great technological breakthroughs comes in. This HUD -E communicates directly with the FSD V12 Autonomous Driving System. It's not a static panel. It interprets what the car is seeing, adapting what it displays according to the context. If traffic is heavy, it highlights what's important. If it's night, it softens the light so as not to be bothersome. The panel molds itself to the experience instead of requiring the driver to adapt to it. This inversion of logic is what makes the Model 2 so intriguing. It's impossible to ignore the psychological impact of all this. The absence of unnecessary visual stimuli allows the driver to focus on what's essential. It may seem like a small thing, but it reduces anxiety, fatigue, and even the feeling of being rushed. It's as if the car is saying, relax, let me take care of the rest. The result is a more fluid, intuitive, and enjoyable driving experience, something that goes beyond technology. It touches on how we feel when we drive, another detail that's worth its weight in gold. The compact screen design and the removal of additional panels freed up interior space. Everything feels more open, lighter. The dashboard flows like a continuous wave to the doors, without abrupt cuts or loose elements. This gives a feeling of spaciousness that's rare in cars of this category. And no, this isn't just aesthetics. It's ergonomics. It's visual comfort. It's intelligent design. What seemed like science fiction in 2020 is now a reality in 2026. The Model 2 cabin listens, interprets, and responds as if it were an invisible co-pilot. It's not just voice commands. It's a conversational interface that understands what you want, even when you don't know exactly how to ask. Forget the frustration of repeating the same phrase three times before the car understands. Tesla's AI has been trained with billions of interactions around the world, refining accents, intentions, and even emotional states. Yes, it senses when you're tired, impatient, or relaxed, and adjusts its behavior accordingly. Saying travel mode, for example, triggers a series of simultaneous adjustments. The seat becomes 10% softer, the air conditioning is lowered by 2 degrees, and the sound changes from normal stereo to spatial sound, spreading the music in a more immersive and less tiring way. The curious thing is that none of this requires buttons, menus, or screen swipes. You just speak, and the more you drive, the more it learns from you. Not just your words, but your patterns, your schedules, your routes. The car begins to anticipate, like an invisible personal assistant that guesses your next steps. But it's not just about convenience. There's something profoundly human in this exchange. When the machine ceases to be a tool and becomes an extension of your needs, a new way of driving is born. A kind of synergy between man and machine. And the best part? The experience doesn't depend on being a tech nerd. Even those who have never used a virtual assistant will feel at home with the Model 2. The commands are natural, almost like talking to a friend who has known you for years. Sure, it's a bit unsettling to realize how much data is being processed in the background. The AI assesses body temperature, posture, tone of voice, and even blink patterns. That's no small feat. But instead of using this to sell ads or get you to subscribe to extra packages, Tesla uses this information to refine the user experience. 
And that, let's face it, is rare these days. The focus isn't on turning the driver into a product. It's on turning the car into a companion on the journey. And there's no denying it. This changes how we perceive luxury. Because luxury, until recently, meant having more buttons, more options, more layers of control. Now, it's the opposite. It's about having less noise, less friction, less need to think about every detail. It's about sitting in the car, saying, let's go home. And it understanding what you meant. Opening the automatic gate, adjusting the temperature to how it was last night, and putting on that calm playlist you always listen to at the end of the day. Another interesting thing, this AI isn't limited to internal functions. It interacts with its environment. If you say, I'm hungry, it suggests nearby places based on your eating habits. If it senses you're more agitated, it proposes a route with less traffic, even if it takes a few minutes longer. It's like driving with a co-pilot who truly cares about your well-being, not just saving fuel or avoiding fines. The first thing that catches your eye about the Model 2's steering wheel is the absence of any levers. No turn signals, no gear shift, no wipers, nothing. It's just the rim, clean, continuous, futuristic. And yet, it does everything you'd expect, and more. Tesla calls this a learning wheel. And it's not just a fancy name. This part has become a true sensory center. Beneath the surface, there are dozens of pressure and motion sensors that monitor your grip, the torque you apply, how you turn the wheel, and even when you release it. All of this allows the car to adjust the necessary steering effort in real time. In practice, this means that in the city, the steering wheel becomes light and agile, ideal for quick maneuvers and tight parking. On the highway, it automatically becomes firmer, providing that feeling of stability and control that is usually only found in larger cars. It's not magic, it's engineering combined with artificial intelligence. And since there's no direct mechanical connection, the famous steer-by-wire system the response time is much faster. In emergency braking, this system can gain a precious 80 milliseconds of advantage, which, at 100 km to meet h, represents about 7 meters. And, let's face it, 7 meters can be the difference between a scare and an accident. Another interesting innovation lies in the touch-sensitive zones that replace traditional manual controls. To signal a turn, Simply press a specific area of the steering wheel without needing to take your hand off the wheel. The same applies to activating cruise control, adjusting the sound volume, or changing driving modes. At first, it may seem strange, almost like learning a new language, but after a few laps, it becomes natural, almost intuitive. The feeling is of controlling the car with your mind, so smooth is the response. And this level of personalized control doesn't stop at physical behavior. The steering wheel also responds to the driver's style. If you have a firmer grip, the car recognizes this and adjusts the feedback to provide more resistance and safety. If it's lighter, it eases the effort to make driving smoother. It's as if the Model 2 is saying, I understand how you like to drive. You can leave it to me. And this creates an unexpected emotional connection with the car. It's no longer just a means of transportation. It's an extension of your intention. From a production standpoint, this solution brings about huge cost savings. A single steering wheel serves both left and right-hand drive models. This means fewer parts, fewer variations, less logistics. Tesla is standardizing the complex and transforming this standardization into a design differentiator. And this, in 2026, is a decisive blow against the traditional methods of automakers that still deal with dozens of versions of the same car. Tesla looked at something as common as a car seat and decided it can be done better, much better. Instead of simply redesigning the seat, they rebuilt it from the molecular base. This gave rise to the so-called foam shell architecture, a technical name for something that, in practice, is genius. Each Model 2 seat is molded as a single piece, 
integrating structure and padding into a single continuous form. Forget stitching, springs, and gluing. The result is a lighter, more durable, and absurdly smarter seat without sacrificing comfort and with a minimalist look that matches the rest of the cabin. This change isn't just aesthetic or engineering related. It eliminates 37 components that existed in the Model 3's seats. This means fewer screws, fewer points of failure, and a much faster production chain. And the direct impact on the car? A 15% reduction in seat weight and about 12% in cost per unit. Does that seem like a small amount? When multiplied by tens of thousands of cars, it becomes an avalanche of savings and efficiency. Furthermore, with less total interior mass, the Model 2 gains about 0.4% in range. It's a detail, yes, but the sum of these details is what makes a truly electric car stand out. But what's most impressive isn't visible. Hidden beneath the seat surface is a microscopic grid of 120 pressure sensors, spread between the backrest and seat. These sensors not only sense your posture, but analyze subtle variations in weight, hip displacement, back tilt, and even early signs of fatigue. This information is read up to 200 times per second and feeds an AI that adjusts lumbar support, activates heating or relief zones, and records your postural memory. In practice, when you get into the car, it not only recognizes your profile, but also remembers how you were sitting on your last trip and adapts the seat pressure to make you even more comfortable. It's as if the seat thinks, this guy had a stressful day, I'm going to ease the load on his lower back. Seek, it's so subtle that most people don't even notice, but the body feels it and appreciates it. Tesla claims that this reduced stress levels in the lower back by 23%, during long trips and improved circulation by 17%. It's almost like physiotherapy built into the car. What's most fascinating is knowing where the raw materials come from. The foam used in the seats is made from recycled polymer scraps directly from the Model Y factories. This means that what would be waste is transformed into comfort. This practice prevents more than 120 tons of waste from ending up in landfills just between the gigafactories in Fremont and Shanghai. In other words, each Model 2 seat is literally made from intelligent repurposing. The Model 2's climate control system is one of those you barely notice. And that's exactly the point. Tesla took the less is more concept and applied it even to the air circulating inside the car. No visible air vents or complicated buttons. Everything happens behind the panels with engineering that looks like something out of a spaceship. Instead of the traditional 40 mechanical fins and flaps, the system uses only 16 digital valves. This cuts more than half the moving parts, which means less noise, fewer malfunctions, less accumulated dust, and less maintenance over the years. But the real magic lies in how the air moves. Sensors scattered throughout the cabin measure the ambient temperature more than 20 times per second, adjusting the airflow with surgical precision. The result is a uniform climate, without those strange areas where your feet freeze and your head feels like it's in a sauna. The temperature difference between the furthest points in the car never exceeds one degree Celsius. And that, on long trips, makes a huge difference in overall comfort. What's even more impressive is how efficient this system is. It consumes 15% less energy than the Model 3 Highlands HVAC. For a car with a 50 kilowatt battery like the Model 2, 